There is a little movie, some say famous, some say infamous, but it is the original return of Star Trek, the original series, when it came back in whatever year it was. 1979, December 7th, John. Of course it was December 7th, 1979, when Star Trek, the motion picture, came and hit theaters, and we've known for some time that they were doing a 4K restoration. Well, now we've got release dates of that 4K restoration, and they're going to play it in theaters for a couple of days, too. Yes. Uh, this comes to us from our friends over at Slash Film, right? The following The long awaited, by some people, uh, addition to every Star Trek super fans collection is now finally set to arrive over two decades in the making, presumably with Phaser set to stunning. Huh? Phaser set to stunning, nobody? All right. Uh, as the very first, I feel like I'm at the Burbank 16, as the very first instance of the beloved sci-fi franchise making the leap from television to the big screen, Star Trek, the motion picture, had a lot riding on it. Originally released in 1979 and forced to play catch-up with worldwide sensation known as Star Wars, the first feature film chronicling the adventures of Captain James T. Kirk uh, by actor and sometimes slash film contributor William Shatner, trusted science officer Spock Leonard Nimoy, chief medical officer Leonard Bones McCoy, DeForest Kelly, chief engineer Montgomery Scott by uh, James Dohan, uh, communications officer Uhura Nichelle Nichols, weapons officer Pavel Chekhov by Walter Cohen. By the way, I've always I've learned I've always been saying it's his Koenig. name. Koenig. Koenig. Yeah. Caning. Wow. Caning. Walter Caning. Well, he should change the spelling of his name. Uh, Hikuru Sulu, played by George Takei, uh, reunited the cast of the original series and took things in a more philosophical direction. So this thing is coming back fully restored. They dropped a trailer for it. And I got to say, when they were showing the differences between original and now 4K restoration, it looked pretty good. I mean, the, the restoration looks really good. Look, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to be facetious. I am not a fan of this movie. Uh, this is the movie that, to me, kind of set the stage for that Star Trek, you know, the running gag. The odd-numbered ones aren't so good. The even-numbered oh, ones are really good. So I'm not a big fan of this. But I know Robert Meyer Burnett is a big fan of this. And Rob, more than that, it, they are doing it on two days alone. They're working with... Um, Phantom, Phantom? Fathom, Fathom. Fathom film. That's right. Fathom, who does those special events, Fathom events. And they're going to actually air this thing in theaters on a couple of days. So, Rob, I, I knew you, you had to be tickled about this. Well, yeah. So Star Trek, the motion picture was fraught with peril when it was being produced. Uh, and it was basically unfinished. The movie was not finished properly because they were locked into a release date. They had a lot of production issues and they couldn't. They couldn't miss that date. And famously, the prints of the film were in a, in a, on a soundstage at Paramount still wet before they were on their way to theaters. So Robert Wise, who directed this film, who also directed Sound of Music, he directed co-directed West Side Story, he directed The Andromeda Strain, he edited Citizen Kane, directed Star Trek The Motion Picture, and back in 2000, he came back with a very dedicated production team, including Dave Fine, Mike Mendocino and my dear friend Darren Docterman to re-edit the film and create a director's edition and create new special effects and shots that were never completed back in 1979. And But that was finished, John, in standard definition. So it only existed in NTSC format. Mm. So this director's edition has not existed in HD for 20 years which means it's essentially useless. So finally, because of Paramount Plus, not unlike what happened with the Snyder Cut with HBO Max, Paramount Plus decided to come in and pay the money, bring back Darren Doctorman and Dave Fine and Mike Mendocino to oversee this restoration. So they got to recolor time the movie. They redid their visual effects that they did 20 years ago in full 4K. The movie was remixed in Atmos and... Uh, it, it hopefully it's going to be very spiffy. It drops on Paramount Plus exclusively on the fifth of April, so it's just in a couple of weeks. But I think what's really interesting, John, about this particular film back then, Star Trek the Motion Picture, because of Star Wars, they were they uh, they were going to make a Star Trek Phase Two TV series. They had built sets, they were doing camera tests, and they spent a lot of money, and they canceled the series in favor of this movie. 
And, um, you know, without the success of Star Trek, the motion picture, there would be no Star Trek franchise, Star Trek two, Star Trek three, Star Trek four, then Star Trek, the next generation. And now today we've got multiple Star Trek shows on the air. So for me, it's still my favorite Star Trek movie. I was 12 years old when it came out, changed my life. I couldn't believe as a fanatical Star Trek fan, what I was seeing a $44 million movie with the original TV series cast. Nobody would do that today. Who would spend that much money on a, on a failed TV show? No one. Well, that's not true. Now they're going to reboot everything. But back then, <laughs> it was. I say, do you know the era we're living yeah, in? Yeah, I know, dude. It's like it's like I heard Manimal and Auto Man are coming back. Hey, the fantastic. Don't shirt. you speak ill of Auto Man? <laughs> I am Auto Man, dude. Come on, you know they're going to. Or the Fantastic Journey. Bring that back. But anyway, I'm very excited for this. I'm very happy for my friends. I'm very happy for Paramount Plus, and uh, to see Robert Wise's vision restored, it's a big deal. It's a big deal. And I am happy for you. <laughs> and uh, guys, I'm happy for all of you who are big fans of this original Star Trek motion picture. Question is for you. Are you excited about this? Maybe you've never seen it. I'm betting a lot of our audience probably hasn't seen it Especially yet. Especially people don't even know there is a director's cut. And by the way, this does solve a lot of the problems people have with they call this movie Star Trek the slow motion picture. <laughs> but this uh, this this does change. There's a lot of editorial changes, so it's speeded up. There's scenes that were not in the theatrical that are in this version. So They apparently improved a bunch of visual effects and things like that. So, guys, how are you feeling about this? Are you looking forward to watching this on Paramount Plus? Maybe you're going to pick up tickets to go to one of the special events when it screens in some theaters. Whatever you guys are feeling about this, jump down to the comment section below and let us know. Your Thanks for leading thoughts. off with this, John. I really you are appreciate welcome, it. You're welcome, Rob. How could, could we not? Guys, we want to take just a minute and thank the sponsor of this video, Masterclass. Masterclass is offering classes on a wide variety of topics, like all taught by world-class masters at the absolute tops of their field. Each class is broken down out into individual video lessons, usually like around 10 minutes or so long, and members can explore at their own pace. And each class is supported by downloadable materials, lessons, recipes, or more that you can all find at masterclass.com. For example, are you into streaming? Well, you can take the Building Your Streaming class taught by ninjas so you can sharpen up on your streaming skills. Or if you're interested in independent filmmaking, take independent filmmaking from Academy Award winner Spike Lee. You want to get classes on how to direct? How about from Ron Howard? The very first one I personally looked up and got into was Business Leadership by the great Big Papa Iger, Bob Iger himself. And I was absolutely in enthralled with it. I love every single minute of this stuff. If any of those apply to you, you need to try Masterclass. So I highly recommend that you check it out. Get unlimited access to every Masterclass. And as a John Campy Show viewer, you get 15% off an annual membership. Go to masterclass.com slash campia. Once again, to get 15% off your annual membership, go to masterclass.com slash campia.